Hello again. Quickly this time we have another uh, interesting uh, function that we can use in our Sparkle queries. What if we want to count the number of triples in a triple store or a data set? What if we want to ha or know how many triples our data set has? Well that's easy. We c all we can use is the function count and the syntax to use it is like this let's actually use one of our previous queries and update it so we'll, we'll remove uh, the ordering and the limiting so we just get a list of all the triples now first that's 146 if we run 146 run it we get we get all the triples yes hope that makes sense yep clear now all the triples and if we want to count all the triples what we can do is of course if we want to get everything we'll just select say select star run that as you can see here we get everything with IDs and stuff but what we can do is we can say select count everything i.e. count all the records or all the triples and what we get is we get 9 that's the number of records 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and even if we go back to the data set 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 now some of us might say and, and might rightly say actually that look we don't have actually nine triples we have one two three four five six seven eight nine times three because every one now of them has three triples yes every meal has three triples it's description date and amount so nine times three is actually 27 it's not actually nine well the reason is is because our query says that give me get me everything that has a description and a date and an amount so it looks as it looks at this as one condition ie as one triple what I can do here is I can say select for example uh, let's say meal let's have another look here uh, meal ID and then uh, it can be for example property and value or something like this here so meal ID and then predicate and then object yeah so for if I actually select everything like this this is where I can get or this is when I can get uh, uh, the list of everything and the count of everything so if I list that I get everything and then if I just do a count on that then I'll save that and run it and I get 27 rather than 9 I hope that makes sense that the query actually controlled that that's why we got 9 in the first time and now we have the actual count of all the triples in the data set which is 27 our conditions uh, actually are very important as you know and whenever we want to have everything then we should have the simplest form of conditions with it, which is to select everything without any restrictions now not only this actually but let me just cancel these and go back to the original query what if I want to count for example uh, what if I want to count for example how many meals have the amount property or in other words how many times the variable amount yeah the variable amount gets bound gets bound I'm sorry gets bound uh, to any value well that's easy and the way to do it is like this for example I can say for example um, I, I'm sorry I, I I don't know why I'm, I'm going back to the max what I can say is I can say count amount yes this will count how many times the variable amount gets bound to uh, any values let's say I just say count amount instead of count style count amount and count and I get nine as you can see here if I remove that from any of the properties for, for, for any of the meals for example remove this then we expect to get eight rather than nine um, triple not terminated by a dot I'm sorry yes 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 that's why it's complaining this triple 
I hope you have seen this. It's, it's telling me now that look, my data set has a problem. The triple is not terminated by a dot. It's not consistent with the rest of the uh, data. It's because I'm using the short shortcut format now. So I can just save it and then run the query again. And you can see that we actually get eight. So this, this time now we're not ca counting everything. We are counting how many times this value here or this variable here gets bound to uh, or gets bound to any value so I'll, let me just return this and save and we'll get back nine and in fact we can actually bind that you know this is uh, just saying one we can bind it to another variable by saying as for example uh, amount count or something yeah amount count you can just save and then run it again uh, uh, yeah it's complaining I know I just need needs the bracket so everything is inside the bracket and then we run it and we get amount count as now we're just binding it to a temporary variable so we can display it nicely as you can see I hope this is nice and easy to learn you see these little mistakes actually also help you learn a lot as I said before hope this makes sense apart from this I'll see you next time